G'day and welcome to this video series chatting about all things evidence-based library and information practice. In this video, I'm going to tackle another challenge that I see in professional practice with implementing the eBlip process, and that is putting evidence into action. Have you ever been in the scenario when uh, an evaluation was done or uh, feedback surveys were completed and the data didn't go anywhere? Or perhaps evidence that was available didn't answer the question. Sometimes evidence is straightforward and it points us in the right direction straight away. Some evidence we have to take the time to make sense of it, analyse it, interpret it, maybe even combine it with another piece of evidence or pieces of evidence and then present this in a way that enables decision making to happen. An example of this type of evidence is large or multiple data sets. You know, data and evidence from different sources or even different formats uh, will need more time and capability uh, to get this evidence to a point of it being useful. You know, this is one of the hurdles of putting evidence into action. Another hurdle uh, that we come across is when the evidence-based practice process, um, when it is more deliberate, that the purpose for the evidence was undefined in the first place. And then, of course, the other hurdle that we need to recognise is team dynamics and organisational culture. You know, we can't um, discount those as having an impact on evidence use and putting evidence into action. Some tips to overcome these hurdles. Uh, one is to practice analyzing and interpreting evidence or multiple uh, evidence together. Think about what stands out here. And this can apply to both quantitative and qualitative evidence. Combine evidence together to get a broader or clearer picture of what's going on. Chat to a colleague or your team about the evidence that you've come across or have gathered. You know, two heads sometimes are better than one in interpreting and analysing and making decisions. And then possibly identify smaller steps or action. Not all decisions have to be massive. You know, like, Starting small, making incremental steps towards that improvement uh, throughout the evidence-based practice process through iterative um, means can, you know, can make the difference. Putting evidence into action can be tricky, but it is imperative to the eBlip process. Until next time, take care.